Hello folks, welcome back to another video. This is GigApps Exposed here on YouTube. And if you're new to the channel, could you take a second to hit the uh, subscription button, the notification bell, and the like button so you won't miss any more videos. Always come back to check to see if I've posted uh, manually because you may not get the notifications. Also, I cover news and world reports and things that are... Um, that I think are important that you see. So sometimes there's some different videos on this channel. I also have another channel called DoorDash Sucks. And if you want to go over to that, you can search for it or you can go to the About page here. Click on the uh, link to that. It'll take you over there. So I want to welcome everyone to another video. Uh, today is Sunday, um, April, uh, April 9th. So uh, today's video, folks, is quite interesting, and I want to give a shout out to Torp, T-O-R-P, uh, because I was just kind of scrolling around and looking at one of his videos, and I noticed that he had one of my subscribers, you know, listed on his video, and uh, that's Thomas Schubeck, and I want to give a giant shout out to Thomas Schubeck for doing this video, because, you know, forgive me, folks, it's like... <laughs> I, I can't go to every single person's channel, or maybe I could. I mean, I could try to, but a lot of times when I'm in my studio, which is the YouTube studio, you can't really click on links or, or um, like, icons in, in there. You can only do it really from um, from the YouTube um, the YouTube platform. So the studio allows me to see all all different things and also all of the different uh, comments all together so a lot of times I don't even know that some of you have channels um, I mean you have to have a channel in order to post but some people I didn't know that they had videos so it just by happenstance it was cool because Torp was showing a video was giving a shout out to Thomas so I found Thomas Schubeck's video and I want to play this for you i also want to tell you guys and gals to all go over to thomas schubeck's channel and subscribe to him and give him some love over there because he did a really excellent breakdown now this video i did a, a video less than two weeks ago i believe about trevor's deliveries now this video is from three weeks ago and i had no idea i don't know if it was in the same context i had been you know mentioning about trevor's deliveries channel how he's frauding the entire community with all these videos that he makes and this is this is another yet another example now the video i did was a little different because i was just you know critiquing stuff but thomas really took the time to break this down and um I, you know if i had done it this way i probably would have caught stuff that that i should have caught and thomas did and he ta he caught the time stamps in the video which is really important because once you're caught lying, folks, it's all over. It's 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 like this this guy Trevor's deliveries is a known fraud. I mean, or he will be known for, for that. He's no better than than uh, Moore Finance, M O O R E, that guy that was you know, what was he doing? Trying to collect money for cancer research and then he would spend it on himself and not donate it to the cause. I mean, this is terrible, folks. These are channels in which you should not be following, okay? And so I'm doing this follow-up video for two reasons. To get out more information on this guy, Trevor's Deliveries, and also give a shout-out to Thomas for make, taking the time to do the video. So, Thomas, thank you for doing the video because uh, I already watched half of it, and so I figured I would just uh, roll it through here because excellent, excellent breakdowns just... It's so important to know this, you know, this stuff. <clears throat> so um, this guy's channel is all done. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> Once the news gets out. I mean, he's just a young kid. He thinks he's doing... See, what this guy does, this is my opinion. What this guy does is he records multiple days of, you know, orders or deliveries. And maybe he doesn't. Maybe he even adds in fake deliveries. And he makes it look like he's doing it in one day. Anyone can do this. I could put these videos together, folks, to prove it to you. But it's like, I don't, I'm not doing this channel for entertainment. I'm doing it to expose these channels. But the thing is, it's so easy to do this, to fake and trick everyone. And then, see, what he's looking for is these v click views, 
and everything else so he can make money that way. Because he ain't making $700 a day, I can tell you that. Uh, let's roll the video here. Here we go. Shout out to Thomas again, Thomas Schubeck. Great video. Hello, folks. Tom Schubeck here. Uh, this is going to be my first video ever, so just bear with me. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done any extemporaneous speaking off the top of my head, so we're just going to kind of muddle our way through it. Just going to do it in one take here. So today we're going to be looking at a video from Trevor's Deliveries. And let me just say that uh, that's actually a fitting name for his channel because, uh, well, not because he uh, does uh, the deliveries, but uh, in terms of, like, delivering uh, jokes and punchlines because this is a joke. And the point of this video today is to go ahead and break down each and every single order that he received. We're going to crunch all of his numbers and see if they match up with the video. Now, before we go on, I just want to commend Thomas for doing this because, you know, he had to literally, you know, go through this video and write everything down. And, um, you know, I, I'm not going to say that I, that I don't have the time to do these type of things, but this is a clear, um, clear, open take, you know, look at the video to see how he, this guy actually manipulated the video. And now that we have this information, this just seals the deal on what I've been telling you the whole time. Because, you know, folks, I'm not going to expose a channel that doesn't need exposing. I mean, if they're doing everything right, they're doing... People make mistakes, but I'm talking about fraud. This is lies, fraud, manipulation by this guy, Trevor. And, I mean, we all know how bad the times are. Do you know how much money I made last night, folks, on Saturday night? $52. $52 be between 4 and eight o'clock that was four hours and i i just i went home and like it was insane and the two deliveries that i took were fairly far away they were you know 10 13 miles each one and i only got two deliveries the other ones i d declined because they were terrible now could be just because it was just a fluke saturday night but there was a lot of drivers out so this guy claims to make 700 bucks in a day or he can make it every day no way. It's not happening. This is just more proof to it. And um, recently I had put out a, a video on this channel talking about challenging people to go out and try to do it, see if you can do it. And I said, I told you I'd match you 700 bucks. I'd give you 700 if you could do it. But it, you'd have to completely have cameras in the car. It would have to be live streamed the whole time you're doing it. There cannot be any breaks in between. Even if you're going to the bathroom, you have to take the camera into the bathroom with you, all of that stuff, right? <clears throat> and you have to show the de declines and the accepts. This guy gets all these cherry picks and everything and doesn't get any bad orders or sitting in for wait times. I mean, it's ridiculous what this guy does to put these videos together. All right, I'm sorry, but I had to explain that to you. All right, let's continue here because this is... 30 minute video but i, I want to play this for you guys because thomas you know he took the time to do it i want people to know the work that he did all right here we go all right here we go third and ten taking on the seven hundred dollar in one day all right so we have our first order here and that's going to be uber eats for 17.55 double order all right as you can see, he receives it at 17, 6, 17 a.m. He started his day at 6 a.m., and he's going to work all the way through until he makes $700, however long that takes him, I guess. Oh, I want to keep in mind before we go on <coughs> that the video that I critiqued, right, and took a look at, he, he never made the 700 He made like $453 or something like that. So it was a, a challenge, but the point of it is to even make 453 is almost impossible, you know, almost impossible in one day. And then he went on to do this. This is Trevor's other video. And, I, and in this one, I think it shows that he made it, but he really didn't make it, folks. He made up all of these these deliveries and just plumped them all together to, in one video to make you think that he did make it. That's that's the whole point of the video. All right. Continuing. All right. Let's follow along here. Sorry, I can't really hold it steady. Officially on that grind. I accepted this order that was seven dollars for six. All right, 
right, so this next order here, seven dollars and eight cents, six point four miles at six forty two a.m. for a total of twenty four sixty three. So far, so good. Now, keep in mind, he says he has to achieve a $35 an hour average in order to reach his goal. And that's important because we're going to see some adjustments later. Hang on. I don't want to cross the bridge. $9 for one mile coming from Dunkin' Donuts. And by the way, folks, I've been in this guy's territory many many times over the years and believe me do you think that i when i go out that i don't try to make them the most and maximize my time of course i do i don't go out there because i'm joyriding i go out to try to make the most money i could ever make and the most i ever made just if i mentioned ride share was 480 dollars and it was on a friday and it was when I first started with Uber getting onto that app. So they they basically gave me the honeymoon suite. Okay. After that, I was never able to make it again, even with multi-apping. And that was just with rideshare. He's doing deliveries. This is impossible to do in, in the Boston market. Impossible. Unless you were pegged and picked to make that money by, you know, Tony Shu, right? The scumbag at DoorDash, the CEO, right? All right, let's continue. To a good start. And we're sprinting in the store. All right, so $9 for Dunkin' Donuts. Going one mile. It's pretty lucky. He's not showing us any of his declines, notice. Yeah, I know. I know. Check that out, right? It's never any declines. Never shows not one decline that comes up, one that he would not take. It's all, it's all cherry-picked. And I don't even believe that this guy got these deliveries in one day. There's no way. This guy probably got some of these screenshots either from other content creators and ripped them off, or he manipulated the video somehow to do it, or he waited over a, a set amount of time. Like, I have screenshots, folks, going back a year, two years ago, that I could put together a video and show you a cherry-picked video and say... Oh, I made this, I made this one after another. Anyone can do it. But this guy, this guy Trevor's deliveries, what a fraud he is. So, with that, it should be 3368. Right? And then he uh, got that Instacart there. Right? 1497, going 0.3 miles. Didn't, uh, it doesn't say what time that he received the order, but... His total should come out to 4865. All right. Here we go. In order to make $700, I have to move at a $35 an hour pace. Yep, that's what he said. $35 an hour. Remember that. All right. 4846. Okay. As you can see, he shorted himself 19 cents. Why? Where did the money go? Now, some of you may think that that's insignificant by doing, you know, a few cents here and there or whatever. Why would you, I mean, anyone who has a calculator can add all of this stuff up. How do you, how are you off by some amount of money? That's important, like Thomas will say for later on in the video, so continue. I mean, are we, are we to believe that he just messed up the math? I mean, that's the whole point of this video, right? How, I mean, he had one job and he couldn't do that right? All right, let's move on. $8.06. Okay. Next order, $8.06. 1.5 miles. With that adjustment, it should be at 56.71. One five miles. All right. This morning shift is going solid. We're already at $56.70 before 8 o'clock. 56.70. Okay. And then on that next order there, as you can see... He recovered 18 of the cents. Now, where did the money come from? Was okay. So, is it possible that he had, uh, you know, an like money added on at the end of the order? Yeah, I suppose it's possible. But I mean, how many times have you seen that to be 18 cents? But anyway, that brings him. Uh, you know, with that adjustment, he's uh, still off by a penny.
So keep that in mind. Keep that on the back burner, folks, because that's going to be important in a little while here. Pay attention. Going so fast, I didn't even realize I had a bad head. Oops. Uh, then, you know what's what's stupid about the whole thing, too, is that this guy, Trevor, right, he's always showing himself running into, like, that he's running and he's trying to achieve everything quick. You, do you realize why that's done? Now, I'm not saying he works directly for DoorDash or anything, but he's probably obviously trying to get people to watch his videos, obviously, right? And when they go and try to do this and they find that they cannot do it, then it's like, why am I watching this channel? But the point of it is, is it's all about getting you to run one after another, one after another, each delivery and nonstop, right? And that's that's what it, the impression is being put on people's minds watching this, okay? Because they actually think that this guy can do this. There it is, two point four miles. Received at seven fifty eight a.m. That should put him with his incorrect math at sixty five seventy three. All right, let's get it. Seventeen dollar double order, less than five miles. This is an extremely good start, guys. We have a shot. How convenient. At All right. So, looks like he hit his uh, bonus incentive there for uh, four fifty. Didn't really say uh, what time that came in, but uh, or I'm sorry, that doesn't. Uh, there's no mileage for that, but uh, the time that it came in is eight eighteen, as we can see right here. So that should put him at seventy eight ninety two. All right, let's continue. Now look at that, 12.90 for 0.5 miles. I mean, I don't know about you folks, I have Instacart in my area, I was on the platform for about six weeks, and it's nothing but trash, I never took one single order. And and I can back that up, Thomas, because uh, Thomas is absolutely telling the truth, Instacart is one of my least favorite um, apps to ever do, I have it. I turn it on, there's never anything good to take, and it's always long distance and far away. And even if you go to Boston, it's it's worse because the people that use those apps, some of them don't even put tips in there and everything else. And it's like it would be the least amount. Like Occasionally, I'll turn Instacart on, and there may be a $30 order going, you know, nine, eight miles, whatever. And I'm like, eh, I'll take that one. And then I could keep it on all week long and nothing else good will come in. All just crappy orders. And all of a sudden, this guy gets magical orders. <laughs> Trevor deliveries. Oh, boy. <laughs> and, I mean, you know, I, I understand that it's market specific, but this guy, all he ever gets is unicorns. Yep. But anyway, with that, that should put him at, with his incorrect math, at 108.71. All right, let's see what happens here. You know, I'm so glad that other people other people can recognize these channels that are doing this. Trevor's deliveries is not the only channels that are that are doing this this type of these type of videos to deceive people. But people need to know that you're being lied to. It's fraud. It's lies. Alright, so double order. Here we go. Uh hang on, what's uh Oh yeah. Um, okay. Yep. Yep. Here we go. The six seventy six and the five fifty, right there. So with that, should be at one twenty nine forty seven, and then watch. He's gonna get a ten dollar and fifty cent bonus. We get another ten dollar addition for the video request. All right. Hang on. For a ten a.m. update, we are at one hundred thirty nine dollars and ninety seven cents. All right. Now, see what he did there. Hang on, go back a second. Go back to this part. Watch. We just did that CBS order in 12 minutes. And 11721. He gave himself $8.50. <laughs> Where did the money come from? Why did you do that? I 
I mean, could ha- could it have been a, another bonus or or like uh, you know an, an order that was additional payment? I mean, yeah, but he doesn't say that. He doesn't clarify that at all. There's no representation of that whatsoever. I want to point out something about Thomas Schubeck too. Thomas, remember, uh, you know, he did a day in which he went out and did. I think I think he worked 21 hours. I mean, it was a long day for Thomas, and I think. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he made $383, and he had to break his balls to get that. Like, it was a long-ass day. I remember that, man. I think it was 383 If I'm wrong, write it in the comments. But, I mean, you know, 383 isn't too bad for, uh, you know, a day's pay, but 21 hours, and he couldn't even bust past 500 You know what I mean? And, like, this guy's doing this like it's a breeze. 700 bucks, right? <laughs> So, remember what he said. He needed thirty-five dollars an hour to hit his quota, and with that extra eight fifty, that puts him exactly at what he said he needed. So, where did the money come from? Out of thin air. Tony Zoo's asshole. Right. That's where it came from. <laughs> and let me tell you something, folks. Good point. His name is Tony Zoo because he's an animal and he belongs in the zoo. Exactly. Really, his name should be Tony Circus because he's a fucking clown, just like this guy. Absolutely. Anyway, let's get. I agree with you, Thomas. $39.97 for four hours for $34.99 an hour. She had to do one of these videos because I'm just sick of the fraud, you know? I'm sick of the lies. Man, that's exactly why I do my channel, too. You know what I mean? Because I want you guys to know. Like, that's why, like, it's ridiculous to, like, one of the channels that pisses me off one of the most, and I haven't really talked about her much lately, is uh, Ride Along with Bree. Right along with Bree's channel. At least Megan Reisman, right? Megan Reisman, she showed us, like, the co- contract that DoorDash wanted to do with her and all that. And she came out and admitted, you know, why am I going to drive around and show you a whole bunch? She did a video in which she showed all these these orders that were coming through that were trash. And she never partnered with them. She exposed them. And this is what we need to do, folks, because most of you are all hurting out here. You're not making the money that you need to make. I mean, I'd love to make $700 a day, you know, even if I was out for, you know, 15, 16, 18 hours. But it's impossible. It's impossible. Look at this nonsense, dude. Look at this nonsense. Twenty four fifty eight for 2.8 miles. Yeah. I know. You um, notice how he never gets any 10 milers, you know, 20 milers, 8 miles, 7. It's all under like 7 miles, 5 miles, or in less than that. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> let's, let's look at that again. Let's, let's run that back. <laughs> let's run that back one more time. Oh yeah. Now, do you, do you really believe, folks? He just said, "I I have to keep that up for sixteen more hours." So essentially, he's trying to do this in a twenty-four hour period. And I told people, "I go go out and try to do this in twenty-four hours. It's you won't be able to do it. Not only will you not be able to do it, but the marketplace is closed. That basically start to slow down after nine, ten o'clock, even in major cities." nothing's the same as it was because of the the lockdowns from two and a half, three years ago. P- places used to stay open until 12, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Only very few are open like that anymore. And, I mean, it's it's so much harder when the marketplace slows down and there's too many p- drivers in, in the marketplace. Uh, okay, one more time, one more time, sorry. I'm trying, I'm trying to make a point here. All right, right here. He receives his incentive at 10.08 a.m. See that? 10.08 a.m. And then the next frame. And now for a 10 a.m. update, we're at $139.97 for four hours for $34.99 an hour. Now I just need to keep that up for 16 more hours. Keep it up. Here we go. Look at this. What is this? 10.01. What is this? 
she went back in time. Right. I mean, what? Even if it, even if these deliveries were true that he was getting, why did he? Why did he show you something from back seven minutes before the last one he had? Why wasn't it continued all the way through? Right. <laughs> Trevor. Trevor. You little rascal. You lovable little scamp. The thing is, when you when you're gonna lie and you're gonna use money and numbers, you better make sure that your numbers are crunched right because they can be checked and rechecked. Exactly. You know, quantity is not an opinion. All right, let's move on. One item. One item. I've never seen any orders like that on Instacart. He always gets unicorns. He's the unicorn gangbanger. Yeah, you hear you hear what he's he's saying. In other words, on Instacart. Yes, can it happen? I mean, I have had one item Instacots before, but it is extremely rare because when people use that, they pick up multiple items, even if it's two, three, five, ten items. They always pick up more than just one. Okay, so even if he did get it, so he gets like Thomas just said, unicorns, uh, unicorns. We, we, no one's ever been able to see one or catch one, but we 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 were told they exist, right? If you believe that, I'll say you some oceanfront property in Arizona, right? Oceanfront property in Arizona, which is in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Bro, like, that was kind of... never loses. It's a total misrepresentation. We just talked about the Instacart. Yep. Well. It's a $6 peak pay on the DoorDash. All right, so with his incorrect math, that brings about one sixty four fifty five with his adjustments. Folks, this did not take long to do. This took just a couple hours to just sit here and just watch the video and just and record and just write everything down. And, you know, this is simple arithmetic. But he, I guess he couldn't even do that right. But that's what this video is all about, right? So what gives? We're waiting for our next order. Let's see what we get. And we're in the Harvard area. I didn't go to Harvard, and it shows because people have been commenting about my grammar. I guess I need to Hey, that's... That's okay, man. Neither did I. I didn't. I didn't go to school either. But where I come from, you you got to learn to count money quick. And <laughs> you know, that's uh, like I said, that's something that that doesn't lie. Numbers don't lie. So let's see where we're at here. Ten fifty four a.m. You know, should be at one seventy seven forty six. You pay on DoorDash. I wasn't getting anything as I expected, so I got this Instacart. The CVS was extremely hard parking. By That's right. Yep. Super lucky. According to his and now adjustments. Got pretty fast. Sorry, it's so shaky. I took this order to bring me out of this area because the delivery. All right. So, according to this, this uh, Uber Eats order. He should be at 193.55 for his next. Here aren't as good as you would expect. It's okay. pizza time. I was really hungry. So, okay, that, that was for his next one. Yep. So he's at 208.15 for the day. And then this is where he takes a pizza break. In which this seems to be one of the only times where he actually takes a break. And for the rest of the day, we're expected to believe that he never hits any traffic jams. <laughs> he never has any customer access issues. He never gets to the restaurant, the short staff, and they couldn't give a shit less if the order's made or not. Right. He never has any problems. It's always just a straight path. It's just a breeze. And it's all, it's all just designed to get you out there on the road and taking every order blindly. Exactly. That's, that's one of, I mean, you know, look. None of us know if these people actually work for DoorDash corporate or whatever. I mean, unless they come out and say it. But most of most of these channels will actually say, oh, I'm partnered. If you see a channel that's partnered with a company and that company's known to be a fraud or ripping people off or doing things, then that's a red flag right there. But he's he's more likely doing it for his own channel because he knows that the kid knows that if he puts a video together like that, that it's, you know, people are going to like, wow, wow, look at this guy. He made 700 bucks a day. And then most people are going to try to go out and do it. But they're going to want to find out how he did it. So they click on his videos and then his videos get all these views and he gets paid for it. Right. But it's it's all lies. 
because it can't be done like this. It, it's that's not it, this guy's a liar. Trevor's deliveries. He's been a liar. Go look at his the rest of his videos on his channel, folks. Because. <laughs> You know, it's a, these are desperate times. We're all looking for a way to make money, you know. Everyone's trying to make a dollar, and uh, this is this is not the way. Following this guy is not the way. He's going to mislead you. Absolutely correct, Thomas. I'm glad you said that. He is going to mislead you, lie to you, everything. <laughs> Instacart, Walgreens. I just had some okay, another Instacart. I gave it a 7.2 out of 10. There's another Instacart order here. So, with that, according to his math, he's going to be... At 22, 2, 22, 07. All right. <laughs> Let's move on. The dough was good. The cheese was good. It just kind of needed a little bit more sauce. Okay. And he to double order. He's never, he never gets an order where the miles are more than the dollars. Yeah. He never gets an order where miles are more than the dollars. It's always the dollars are more than yeah, which is completely utter bogus. When I any time I've ever gone to Boston, folks, Cambridge, any of those areas, and even Bo, like Bob Sides is probably listening to this. If you are Bob, note in here, you know, because I know you work around the Cambridge area. I think right. Ask Bob how much he's made in one day. He won't tell you that he made seven hundred bucks. I can tell you that. And if I ever made, I think you know something. I'm trying to think when I was a taxi driver, did I ever make 700 bucks in a day when I was actually driving taxis? And I can honestly say no, but I did make five or 600 in one day, but it was a long day, folks. I had to stay out an entire day. And I mean, ride share is different than delivering, but even in ride share, you, I don't even think you can make that now. No way. Unless you were a lux, a lux, luxury Uber, and even that. Now, actually, what's his name? Uh, let me give a shout out to Uber Jeep uh, Arizona. I haven't seen him on my channel lately, but Uber Jeep Arizona, he does make some really good money in a week. But I don't. I, that's a question. If if you're listening, Uber Jeep Arizona, let us know if you made even in rideshare. Did you ever make seven hundred in a day? Probably, I would say the answer is yes. If you're doing luxury, but with delivery, totally different uh, ball game. You know. Anyways, big shout out to Uber Jeep Arizona, Jay Watts over there. We're at $246.17. Okay. Hang on. So 246. Okay. So he gave himself 594. Where did the money come from once again? Tony Zoo keeps giving this guy money. I don't know. <laughs> but if it's if it's an addition to the uh, the order at the end, you know, maybe he should mention that because he's represented as uh, you know, as is. But anyway, Let's move on to the next one here. Alright. So with that one, watch she's gonna give himself another five twenty nine. So he should be at it should be at 281.75. 287.04. Where does the money keep coming from? It doesn't make any sense. He's just adding money. He's adding money and then not accounting for it. CVS order. I should be at $300. And hang on, run it back here. Run it back here really quick to the 1704 order. What time we got here? 2.14 p.m.? All right. And then, what's the next order that he's going to come at? He's going to have... Pay attention, folks. See that? 2.02. Look at he that. payment after that order. He went back in time again. He lost 12 minutes. Yep. This is amazing. This dude's delivering through the dimensions. No wonder he's making all this money. Yeah. In other words, most people are not going to take the time to do what Thomas Schubeck did here and critique the, the video down. Even when I did the video on on um, 
Trevor, right? The the one that it's a different video than this one, but I paused the video to show you the screenshots, but I never looked at the timestamps. And those timestamps are really important, folks, because why would you go ahead and show something that that wasn't forward from from your day? You you can't show something that's been passed when you're going forward. I mean, he's manipulating the video. That's the whole point of, of how he's lying and frauding and cheating here, you know, and trying to show you that he made this money. It's all bullshit. And he doesn't show any decline, decline orders. <laughs> More than 24 hours to work with. <laughs> and I just, and I just told you, I just told you that Thomas stayed out one day and I, I think it was on, a, even on a Friday, it was either a Friday or a Sunday. He stayed out 21 hours and he could only make $383. It was either 283 or 383, something like that. Thomas, hopefully, will uh, let us know in the in the video, in the comment section. Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> Just finished that CVS order. I should be at 300 dollars, if not extremely close. 400 dollars left to go, guys. We're about to enter. I mean, do you do you see how ridiculous this this just is? I mean. I would be ecstatic if I was making 287 by 3.30 in the afternoon if I got up at 6 in the morning. I'd, I'd be like, if I could do that every day, are you kidding me? And he's now talking, oh, yeah, and I'll make another 400. 400, are you kidding me? I can't even make 200 in my market. I can't even make 100 right now. This guy's saying he's making 700? What a liar. Uh, Brian is about to get real. <laughs> Yeah, you're so real, bro. We need forty dollars an hour. This forty is bucks it. an hour, no sweat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do it in your sleep. Oh, shit. Another unicorn, amazing, never loses. Let's go. Twenty-seven dollar triple order from Uber Eats. Okay. So now we have. And and you know, let me just point out something else. Keep in mind, folks, you're not seeing him. You, the video that he has up on his um, windshield or whatever is probably a GoPro or something like that, right? Or he may be using another camera phone or whatever, you know, holder, a placeholder, right? How come he's not taking his phone live and showing you the order that's coming through? And why isn't he showing you the declined orders? Or one? You think he's going to just get one after another like this continuously that's great? It's ridiculous. Anyone, anyone, even a, a newbie could, could see this, you know? Now we have an order for 4.15 p.m. That comes in. Forgive the production value, folks. This is literally my first video ever, but I promise you're we're... You're doing a great job, Thomas, because you're showing the breakdowns. I mean, I think it's a great video. And I, I mean, thank you for because you did a whole lot more than than i did and uh, i'm scheduled in 30 minutes to go out in 30 minutes but i have to finish this video all right let's continue we're getting we're getting some good information here so what is that 27 yep that one right there so there's a five dollar cash tip added with this one but pay attention because he's at 4 15 p.m and with his adjustments he should be at 3 27 16 all right let's see what happens Our dinner rush that we need to make thirty-five plus dollars an hour to hit our goal. Oh, but but he was able to main thirty-five dollars an hour all through the morning time and into the lunch time, folks. There's a slow time in every market between say nine thirty and eleven thirty in the morning. There's a rush from you know say five even five in the morning five to 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 nine thirty, and then there's a slowdown. And this guy never slowed down, and he maintained 35 bucks an hour. Are you kidding me? I mean, at dinner time, is it possible to make 35 an hour? Yeah, but not continuously. It's it's that's it's such a lie. Now, can you make 35 dollars an hour doing this? Yeah, you can. Yep. But he just he just said what I just said. Yeah, you can, but not all through the entire day consistently. No way. Are you gonna make it every single hour? No. Nope. The market is too saturated right now, and exactly. it's just unless unless everything goes exactly right, you're not going to be able to do it. And even if you can, you can't do it every day. It's just the reality. Yeah.
at, to like, the time you're like even even at best, and I and I know for a fact this guy did not make seven hundred bucks. But even if he could possibly do it, he would have only been able to do it one time, and that was it. But he didn't. He you, we can tell by all the lies that he's already done in the video because he showed you different screenshots from different time signatures, which does just doesn't add up. And then he's adding money in and everything else. <laughs> Going to make about. Eighteen dollars an hour doing Uber. After, I'm sorry, before expenses. No traffic jams. Yeah, I know. It's always clear. It's always a clear path. Yeah, and what's funny is Thomas. I know the streets that he's driving on. Like that street right there is in the south end of Boston, or it's it's probably South Boston because those are brownstones on the left. And it's always traffic there. Like, it's, you can't just breeze through these streets like that. No way. It's always a breeze. Never breaks a sweat. Disgusting. Let's go. Five, let's go. 3.53 p.m. Let's go back in time. Incredible, folks. He lost 22 minutes. What an amazing feat. How is he doing this? Oh, yeah. He's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the music's supposed to get you hyped up and pumped up and get you out on the streets, you know? Exactly. Oh, That's what it's all meant for. It's meant to make you, like, even to the point of going, okay, well, maybe I can't do it, but let me go out and try to do it. And that's why I told everyone on the channel, go out and try to do this. I would love to see someone do it, but I want to see camera angles that never come off the person. You have to have maintain a basically a live, a live stream on the whole time you're doing it. Because there's no way, no way anyone can do that. And I would even say that people c couldn't even make 500 in a day. That that would be a feat in itself. It's just, it's not, it's not possible. It is not possible. Sorry about that. It's supposed to get you pumped up and excited, but then you get out there and you spin your wheels all day and then you get to the gas pump. Yep. And it turns out you don't, uh, you don't have enough money to even... So, you know, you're not even going to make any money for the day. Exactly. You know, if you take every single order, you will lose. You will lose. Yep. All right. So here's our next order. Another unicorn, 21, 29, 4.3 miles. Take this guy's spot. Is that even a spot? Does he even and he, uh, he gave himself another five bucks here. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I would... Just to make the three, like you saw that on the screen, 366, I would be ecstatic. That would be an amazing day. And that would probably, even if I could ever do that, it would be in my market where I live. I'd have to stay out well past 14 hours, 15 hours, if I was even, if it was even going to be a possibility. And this guy's trying to brag about 700. I mean, give me a break. Pay attention, folks. Pay close attention. Luckily, our next order was our first DoorDash of the day. He was bringing me back into an area with yep. more restaurants. And then we get this one. Yep. Pay attention, man. Look. Cents. It says it's only going to take me 49 Look at this. So he he says 37.53 triple order. All right. So let me explain this really quick. This is the app that... He received the order on. This is the number of orders that he's done throughout the day in chronological or uh, in, in sequence. This is the uh, dollar amount that the order came in at. <laughs> this is the number of miles. This is the time in. And this is his total that he's supposed to have according to the mathematics. All right. And, all right. So this order here, he says, came in at 22 miles. And with the adjustment, it should be at 4.15.49. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> it seems too good to be true. I know. In this moment... <laughs> it does. It does. It really does, Trevor. It seems too I mean, good to why be would, why true. Would you, why would you even have to say something like that? This seems to be too too good to be true. Why would Trevor even have to say that? It's, it's all mind games. It's all mind manipulation to make you think like, oh, he really is making it, you know? <laughs> 
And it's not just because it seems that way. It actually is that way. <laughs> I mean, to my downfall or a huge break. We got to the store. I was downfall scared or a huge company. break. It was already picked up I mean, is there, is there anywhere on this channel that... Is there a disclaimer that says none of this is real? Because, I mean... <laughs> That's funny, Thomas. Is there a disclaimer saying none of this is real? I know because it, what is what his channel should be called is Trevor's fantasy fantasy deliveries, right? What you wish you could make. In other words, th none of this is true, but I'm showing you what what drivers would only dream about making. <laughs> I haven't really looked at any of the rest of this content, but. All I doubt of it. his videos, all of his videos are basically like that, Thomas. They're all like that, pretty much. I mean, he doesn't make, and he doesn't have a whole lot of videos on his channel, but when he makes them, he takes time to put these crazy ones together to get everyone to believe that he's trying to make, that he's making that money, which he's not. Anyway, let's continue. But <laughs> we got it. We got the order. Let's go deliver it. And not only that, we, we just go. got what? hit with the best news. In my life as a driver, the customer called me, said that they were not, in fact, 30 minutes away. They were three minutes away. Uber was sending any. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. <laughs> oh, man. Bro. I know. He's ridiculous. <sighs> okay, everybody that's done this job, you know that if you do it long enough, you're going to come across a customer that's going to call you up and be like, hey, I need you to actually deliver to this address, but it's the reverse. It'll be from one mile to like 30 miles, but not him. He he has the reverse unicorn. He wins every time. It's I know. amazing. Exactly. Amazing. The wrong the address. I that. like that, Thomas. Reverse unicorn. <laughs> I guess so. I just called Uber support, and surprisingly, it actually went pretty well. Okay. It was pretty quick, and they completed the order for me at the location that I'm at. We dropped off the order at the correct address, and we made thirty-nine dollars and fifty-three cents in forty-two. Gave himself two bucks. Next order, fifteen-dollar Target shopping. All right. So this next one here doesn't look like he uh, gave the time. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be coming up here in a second. 15.02. It's going to be um, a shop and pay at Target, I guess. So, watch as he gets out the car here. Pay attention, folks. This is important. 7.35 p.m. All right. I want to say something real quick and just say that I remember when I was doing Instacart back when all the lockdowns happened and everything. And I remember, I think, you know, I didn't stay out like an entire day, like from six in the morning to like 12 at night because Instacart and stuff, like basically after eight, nine o'clock at night, there's really nothing. But I remember, I think I made. I think I made 317 bucks or something, or maybe four, maybe close to 400 bucks in a, in a 12 hour period. But it was very rare. And that was on Instacart. But the orders were really good then because people were like tipping astronomical. They were just happy to get their food. We are in such bad times now that peep, there's so many, there's so many drivers on the road. It's so watered down. And like last night, I just told you, I was I was only out for four hours and I made 50. I On a Saturday night, folks, I usually make easily $100, $125 on a Saturday night. And I made 52 last night. Unbelievable. God, it buzzed me in. Do I got a ball spot? No, I'm still good. 3246, that's right. Well, it's, it's according to his adjustments, but so far. All right, so this next order that he gets... <laughs> $30.58 going 12.9 miles. I got... All right, wait, let me back that up because I want to hear the mile, miles on that because I'm going to tell you something in a second. Here, let me back that up. All right, here we go. A at Target, I guess. So, watch as he gets out the car here. Pay attention, folks. This is important. 7.35 p.m. All right. Buzz me in. Do I got a ball spot? No, I'm 
3246, that's right. Okay. I got an order last night for about $30.50. It was actually my first order that I, that I took. It was a 13-miler. Now, this one's 12.9 miles. But I still had to drive back, so it was like 26 miles because I didn't, didn't get anything. Then I sat around for a little while, and I got another one for $21 going 10 miles. And at the end of that, it was it was already too late. It was like 8 o'clock, and I was like, there was nothing else coming through, so I went home. It just sucked. And I'm not staying out for three more hours till midnight to try to make another $25, $30 for three hours. No way. Because that's about probably, and I, I'd be lucky if I even had made that. Well, it's, it's according to his adjustments, but so far. All right, so this next order that he gets, $30.50. But it's rare to even see that type of an order come up on your screen. Most of the orders predominantly are always 675 575 725 you know all crappy orders it's very rare that you see a 30 dollar order like that sense going 12.9 miles yet another amazing unicorn yeah all right i know it's crazy isn't it thomas it's nuts now understand folks when you see him in the video drop off a bag that is probably an indication that he is actually doing the order, but the rest of it is just curated, edited screenshots, and, yep. you know, it's not even real, you know? Like, what I'm doing, may it may be awkward and, and, and shaky, but it's real. It's unedited. It's one take. Exactly. It's too good. $700. All of Trevor's videos are all edited. He's no, I don't even think he's ever done a live stream before. I, I, I mean, I'm just guessing, but I would bet if you looked under live streams, he's never even done one. Because you know why? He doesn't want to be held accountable to people asking him questions in the live stream, right? To say, oh, wait a minute, you know, because people like us, like Thomas, like me, other people, if we ever went to his, his live stream, if he had one, we'd be asking him, dude, we'd be calling him out is what we'd be telling him. So he doesn't want to take any criticism, and he probably doesn't even reply back to any any questions either, I would assume. We may actually get it <laughs> Real quick, guys, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video so far. I make other DoorDash videos as oh, well. Wow. I'm trying to All make it right now. Yeah. It should be Trevor's Lies and Fantasy Deliveries is what that should say right there. <laughs> Honestly, you're probably going to get there, Trevor, because there's that many people out there that are trying to live in a delusional fantasy. So... More power to you, I guess. But nobody in this community is uh, buying it. And, you know, we're not, uh, like I said, we're not going to put up with the lies anymore. And we're just, you know, we're just going to start, uh, we're going to start di diving in deep into some of these channels. And, you know. All right. $45. All right. So, his next order. Remember, he got out of that store. He, he got out of his car to go into the store at 7.35. And now it is 7.39 p.m. <laughs> and so, in, four, in a four-minute span, I, I really don't, I'm not really sure what, uh, what if he was supposed to uh, have received that order at 7.39 or if that's when he dropped it off, but... Somehow in that span, he's uh, driving, uh, you know, uh, close to 20 miles in just a few minutes. And Now, I want to point something else out. That Look at all of the writings that Thomas put down here, right? If, if you notice on the left-hand side, it, it shows you the app, okay? So Uber Eats, Uber Eats, Instacart, Grubhub, DoorDash. I will, I will say this. When I was in, many times when I went to Boston to drive, DoorDash was not prevalent in Boston. Uber Eats is. Uber Eats is one of the one the apps that everyone uses. Instacart, I would agree, and Grubhub probably. I don't have Grubhub. So with that said, yes, Uber Eats is constantly, continually busy, like one after another, but they're all crap orders. Do you guys remember the videos I made last year when I was in Boston and I showed you guys the screenshots and everything and you know did like I did live videos of it? It was just continual two and three dollar orders. I never got any really good ones. And when I did, it was stacked orders with like three to four to five stacked orders with let's say a twelve dollar and thirty five cent uh 
delivery that came through with five orders. So this guy's just catching them like the breeze? No way. You know, yeah, I see there's a gap in uh, the uh, next order there. And, you know, that could, could that uh, account for part of the discrepancy? Yeah, but he's also, uh, once again, adding money that's not accounted for, you know? Yeah. God, dude, you're so full of shit. <laughs> like, when does this ever happen to you, like, <laughs> ten times a day, you know? <laughs> like, this is this is complete fiction. Yep. $30 and not that many items. It only... <laughs> an hour and three okay. in my driving time. Fair enough. 508.25. He gave... I will say that Uber Eats does limit you to drive only 12 hours. On on uh, on that particular platform, so keep that in mind. He gave, he lost a dollar. What the heck, man? He just he must have lost it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not tired, but the adrenaline from that insane dinner rush is slightly declining. I only have 20 minutes left of this driving time. Look at this fake tiredness. Story, which is likely going to be our last. All right, let's see what we got here. So this one comes in at 9.48 p.m. And it's for 13.59, going 7.7 .7 miles. So he should be at 5.21.84, according to his incorrect math. Use order of the day. Let's go knock it out. Now. I, I don't know because I didn't watch this particular video on Trevor's channel and I didn't see Thomas's video until now. I'm guessing and assuming that he didn't hit the $700 mark, but do you actually believe that this guy actually made over $500 right now in the amount of time that he was out and everything? Do you really believe that? That's I'll say that that's impossible to do. It's impossible. No way. No way. I'm sorry. It's just not. This... This Trevor is like terrible, terrible. All right. All right, guys. So we reached our driving limit. Reached his driving limit at four twenty-seven. So that means he went offline at ten twenty-seven p.m. Which, uh, you know that. I mean that that could uh that could make sense, you know, because there's in between stoppage times between deliveries, you know, where it's not the counter's not going up. So I mean that 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 kind of tracks. So, and that's that's the thing. I'm not saying that. He is uh, completely uh, fake, you know. Like there is an element of of like reality to it, but oh yeah, definitely. He's actually going into the stores. He's he's filming the the video of all of that stuff. But it's easy. You could do this over the course of weeks and months, and then just edit a video together. It's so easy to do. So yeah, I agree with you, Thomas. There is an element of um, of reality, but. This guy is out of touch with reality. <laughs> Just a very, very small one and a huge, huge portion of bullshit. Yes. Because this is all about making money. This guy, not a real gig worker. He just runs a channel about gig work. Exactly. There's There's a still, difference. I'm still driving. Exactly. Car. At this point, 16 hours in, I was starting to feel the All right, $19 Instacart for 7.7 .7 miles at 10, 11 p.m. He should be at 540.88 with his incorrect adjustments. But we got to push on. And at 10.30 p.m., we're heading back to the city, the north end of Boston, to drop off this order. All right. So, you know, where'd the nickel go? Like, wh like why can't you do simple math, bro? First grub hug. It's 11.36 p.m. I have no idea how I'm going to park this McDonald's. This video is almost down. over, folks. Uh, I want to appreciate everything that Thomas did here to break down everything in this video. Let's see how it uh, how it ends here. One of the most popular. Anyway, that's basically that's basically the end of the dis discrepancies. Um, it's uh, it's pretty fantastical, you know. Let's talk about let's talk about five hundred ninety three dollars. I mean that. Right there, folks. Look at that. 593.86. Are you kidding me? Imagine if I could do that every day. You'd be at, like, if you could do that type of money, you'd be at, like, $80,000 a year with, with uh, Uber Eats. I mean, with uh, gig work. 
right? I'm not saying that some people on some apps, like there are cargo van, like Curry, the app Curry and cargo van deliveries and things, Vho, and uh, you know, there's all of these different higher paid apps that is possible to make good money. But you got to understand something that there's so many people doing it now. There's so many people, like the markets are becoming saturated on all of these apps. This is this is fantastical. And if this if he was doing rideshare, if this was just rideshare and not deliveries, because rideshare is easier because you're not getting out of the car, you're sitting in the car and you're just picking up passengers. But you have to get out of the car, you gotta do all these things. You really believe this guy made five hundred and ninety-three dollars in one day and that he can do this consistently? Pfft. No way. It's not it's impossible. I've gone to the city hundreds of times, if not thousands, and I can't do it. So if I can't do it and I'm a veteran, this guy can't do it. Sorry. Day. Um well you got forty six eighty four unaccounted for, son. And uh Yeah. I mean I guess the hour doesn't really matter, but the point is, uh, the math does not add up, and neither do the times, furthermore. That's right. the important part. Right. Like you got squeeze- just, just the fact, just the fact, and no, it, so he made, he only did a, a he did $24 in gas. You want to believe that? I mean, really? The, when the times don't add up, the time signatures consecutively, then you have a big problem. Because you guys remember, and I'll finish it off here, well, I'll have... I'll have Thomas finish off his video, but what I'm saying is, you remember when I did the, um, I was trying to get Top Dasher, and I did those videos where I did two and a half, three hour ride along videos, but I, what I did was pause them in between my deliveries. I was con- I was consecutively correct all the way through. In other words, I show I showed you or let you know that I couldn't do what I was trying to do. I wasn't. I was trying to show you that I was trying to make. Um, make Top Dasher to get 70%. I never sat around telling you, oh, look at how many great... I've sh- When I drive and I show you things, I show you the bad ones that come in, folks. Channel, Why don't channels do that? They don't want to show you the declined orders or the ones that suck that you didn't take. I show you that stuff because <laughs> I show you the reality. <laughs> That's mixed in there, and it's just... You know, this is this is the beauty of video editing. You know, you can make it look like you had the perfect unicorn day every day. Exactly. And that's what gets the clicks. One hundred ninety three dollars or one hundred ninety three miles in gas. Uh, I doubt it, dude. I fucking doubt it. No way. Um, you're uh, not accounting for forty six miles uh, according to your stats here, which uh, you know, like I said, there's in between stoppage times, so it's not really a, a point of contention. But you know, like I said, I. Uh, I do this job every day. Oh, yeah. I've been doing this since last May. I have 25, 2,600 deliveries. And I can tell you, like, it, it would take me at least four days. Probably. If, if there's any, I mean, first of all, I love each and every one of you who are on my channel, on both channels. And um, most of you, I mean, you're all family to me. But one of the guys that I really trust is Thomas. Because Thomas doesn't mess around. When he tells you facts and figures, he's, he's right on point. And so is it Mr. Corinthians and a bunch of other people who report, um, you know, Richie, um, Nate, Javel. I mean, there's so many good ones out here. You guys know, you guys and gals know who you are. But if there's anyone I trust is Thomas. And Thomas is a great guy and he don't fuck around, pardon my French. I'm sorry to swear, but great guy, honest. Um, let, let's, let me have him finish off what he's going to say here. I'll back that up a little bit. All right, here we go. That's the important part. Like you got screenshots mixed in there, and it's just, you know, this is this is the beauty of video editing. You know, you can make it look like you had the perfect unicorn day every day, and that's what gets the clicks. $193, or 193 miles in gas. Uh, I doubt it, dude. I fucking doubt it. Um, you're uh, not accounting for 46 miles, uh, according to your stats here, which, uh, you know, like I said, there's in-between stoppage times, so... It's not really a, a point of contention, but, you know, like I said, I uh, I do this job every day. I've been doing this since last May. I have 25, 2,600 deliveries, and I can tell you, like, it, it would take me at least four days, probably four or five days to make $500, maybe maybe three or four, but, like, the most I ever made in, in non-holiday day 
after 19 hours was $350. Okay. So that that's that's it, okay? But I I thought it was I think it was twenty one hours you worked. You might have forgotten, Thomas, because I remember you you posted it. But that's okay. The point of it is, is nineteen out. Let's say it was just nineteen hours, three hundred and fifty in one day, right? And he's in a decent market. He's in a really good market, Thomas, right? And if you can't make more than that, how the hell can you make six hundred uh, five hundred ninety three dollars like he was just showing, almost six hundred bucks? Now, he didn't hit his 700, right? But in one of the videos, you know, he he supposedly did hit hit 700. If you check Trevor's Deliveries channels, channel, right? He'll show a video in which he shows that he made 700 in one day. It's impossible, folks. Impossible. Never any more than that. And so anyway, that's basically all I got for you today. Um, I just had to uh, do this video because uh, I just uh, have been seeing um, a lot of uh, people like, you know, trying to uh, post about like how how uh, high my miles, my mile count is. But when you get right down to it, um, I would uh, <laughs> I would venture to guess that most people's miles are pretty comparable. You know, if you if you want to make a dollar in this business, you, you got to drive a mile at least you can pretty much expect that. But uh, anyway, thank you for listening. Um, sorry for uh, the awkwardness, and um, I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Um, stay away from this guy, and uh, if you can, maybe just uh, drop a drop a link, uh, you know, drop a comment in his uh, video, and just uh, get everyone to see this video because uh, this is bullshit. Yep. So um, I just want to say I want to talk tonight excellent. about Hold your calling. Second. I don't know what that is. It went on to another video here, but I just want to say that I want to thank Thomas for doing doing his uh his video because um excellent excellent breakdown you nailed it right on the head thomas thank you for doing it um at least we're making the uh community aware more aware now that uh, these things are going on with these channels and uh just to stay away from them and be aware of them because you know the best the best advice is to go out and try to do these things yourself and then when you see that you can't do it then you realize that these channels are lying to you they're just liars and the only two markets and i'll say this in closing the only two markets that you even if there was a remote possibility of doing it would be california at like los angeles or new york city other than that it's not going to happen so with that said, folks, thank you for listening to uh, yet another video here. All credit goes to Thomas Schubeck out there for this video. Uh, shout out to Torp because Torp was the one who let me know about the video, and I didn't even know Thomas had a video on his channel. So I'm glad I know now. And I think you should continue to make some videos, Thomas, if you if you want to, you know, if you know, if you can, you know, make some important ones that'll help the community. But if not, that's cool too. But excellent breakdown, excellent video. And I will catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.